Welcome to this overview video of Provar, the only test automation tool that's designed for Salesforce. In this video, we're going to use Provar to test a Service Cloud console. We'll start by creating a new test. We'll choose a name for the test, then select our Salesforce org and Salesforce application. To build our test, we'll launch Provar's test builder. The first step of this test will connect to Salesforce and log in automatically. Since we're in a console application, the first thing Provar will do is close down any existing tabs. This allows us to start testing from a known state. We'll begin our test from the Home tab on a case list view. The first thing we need to do is locate a specific case record in the list. To do this, we can right-click on a row and select Add to Test Case. This adds a draft step to the test builder, as you can see on the right-hand side. Using metadata, Provar automatically recognises that this is a console application, that we are on the Home tab and viewing a specific case list view. Now we can choose how to locate the case record. We can use information such as case number, status, priority, or a combination of values. All of these are located from metadata rather than using hard-coded locators. Once the row is found, we'll click to view the case record. Then, we'll click Add and Do to execute the step. Once Provar finds our row, it will click on the case number, which launches the case record in a new tab. Next, we're going to edit this case record and add some information. We'll right-click on the Edit button and add it to the test case. Note that Provar has recognised this screen as the current tab. In a Salesforce console, each tab is a different frame. Provar automatically manages the transition to the new tab, removing any technical complexity. Provar also recognises the Edit button automatically. Here we'll click on the button, but other interaction types are available, such as uploading and downloading of files, hovering and more. We'll choose Add and Do to execute this step, clicking on the Edit button. Now we can edit any information that we want, entering data on the screen itself or directly into the test builder. Choosing Add and Do will update this on the screen. Finally, we'll map the Save button to return to the record. Provar again recognises this as the current tab, bypassing any complexity around primary and secondary tabs. Now we could perform other actions on the case, such as logging a call, adding a comment or asserting information. To assert our subject field, we can add this to the test case and, instead of Set, choose Read Assert. We can extract the value and assert the value in this step. We can also take a screenshot at the point of assertion. To review a step, we can either check the detailed log file, or we can navigate into Provar Desktop to look at the details and screenshots. Finally, to complete this test case, we'll label our assert to describe the action it is performing. This will help keep the test easy to read and understand by the test team and its stakeholders. We hope you enjoyed this overview video. To learn more about Provar, get in touch today for a free one-to-one -one demo to find out how Provar can help your business.